Thank you, Dr. Bellmaker. You, you said that uh, the, the incidence, the, the, the percentage of people who are diagnosed with bipolar illness is one or two percent. Is that something that's consistent in various countries? Are there certain parts of the world where it's more prevalent? Are there certain um, ethnic or gender uh, differences in the diagnosis of bipolar? Mm -hmm. Well, I think most researchers today find the incidence the same between men and women. And there are no specific ethnic differences or countries that clearly have an elevation. But this is a hard thing to research and know for sure, because someone may be living a very normal life, as most bipolar patients do most of the time, but have had a manic episode 10 years ago. He might not tell a researcher knocking on his door about that. So we don't know for sure. Some researchers have said that in tropical climates and around the Mediterranean, bipolar patients have more manic episodes and fewer depressions. And in northern climates, the say bipolar patients have more depressions and fewer manias. But I'm not sure this issue is completely resolved. I said one or two percent. Like everything in medicine, it depends a bit on where you draw the line. Some people have severe manias where their speech is so rapid that it sounds like uh, uh, just clang associations and they don't sleep at all and have spent terrible amounts of money and get into romantic entanglements not because of their personality or morals but because of their illness and they need to be forgiven. But some people might have a much milder mania. There are different intensities of the mania that can happen and that can thus then point a family member or a patient or a clinician to the idea that this might be bipolar illness and you said some people are very severe and some people are very much more mild so if I'm hearing that correctly there could be someone who has a mild mania who doesn't necessarily seem like he's mentally ill but could just seem like he's kind of a jerk yeah, yeah. I, I think it's an excellent question, and I don't always have an answer, both as a physician and a psychiatrist. We know in medicine that giving internet advice uh, and giving people advice about what signs and symptoms on their skin or their pains might be a red flag is a double-edged sword. We don't want to worry people unnecessary, but we want them to know early symptoms. And in psychiatry, we also don't want to make people not responsible for their actions as people because we need to be responsible and not everything, every mistake that people make can be attributed to a mental state or illness that they had at the time. But nonetheless, if someone has had a character and personality that's been steady for his life and has a sudden change that includes change of sleep patterns, change of rate of speech, ideas that do not seem logical or that seem to be excessively optimistic, and changes in sexual behavior. I think it'd be very wise for family members to say, maybe you should see a doctor.